are you threatened in any way by like the Gollywood invasion? There's, there seems to be some sort of drive now, as it were. Even from Nigerian producers now to cast a lot of the Ghanaians. First, it started with the ladies. Now, the guys are, I mean, you are the leading guy, but the guys are coming. There's Majid Michel, there's Van Vika, there's John Dumelo. And these are people who are going to be taking your spots. If you, no, no, you no. Say, 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 are you threatening the, anybody? Well, we have not. <laughs> See, there's room for everyone. Okay. Do you know, it, the, 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 the play table is very large. You are in, so, um, these guys have always been there, you know. You can't take, um, like I would say, the strength uh, Joseph Benjamin will bring to the table, um, the edge I'll bring to a particular script is not the edge a Majid or Van Vicker will bring. I'm unique in my own way, right? So I'm, I don't feel threatened. I am, I, I'm, I'm, I'm caught out. I'm, <laughs> I'm thorough in what I do. You know, I understand my craft. And you know? so I'll constantly, you know, bring my best, you know, put my best foot forward. So I'm not threatened in any way. Hey, we're all professionals. Hey, yeah, so no man should feel yeah. threatened. <laughs> Something that comes a lot with, you know, the sort of status you are attaining now is, um, I, I, I'm trying to go along the lines of, um, okay, let's talk about Omotala and Genevieve now. Okay. Who people have said that in the last year or two, they haven't done a lot of movies, mm. mostly because they have become such big stars that mm. they almost become unaffordable. Mm. Not through their own fault, maybe, mm. but because of the sort of status they have attained. Mm. Is, are there any fears you entertain that maybe you might get to a stage where you might not be able to work anymore because you can't be afforded? If you know what I mean. Yes. Um, that is where you have to be wise as a businessman. You know, you always have to put business in front of you. And that is, you should not um, overprice yourself. You should not take yourself out of the market. Because what a lot of these people do, like the Genevieve's and the Motolas, who a lot of people say, um, I have not been doing a lot of movies, uh, maybe because they can't be afforded and all. No, these people are constantly reinventing themselves. They're constantly doing things that will maintain their market value and constantly make sure that they remain relevant in the system. So it's not about their price. Of course, there's a premium at some point that has to be placed on your brand because you know what your target is and where you are going. So if you're not looking to place in that premium at some point, then what is the whole basis of you um, 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 pushing forth a brand? You know, so I, I don't see myself getting to a point where I can't be afforded, excuse me. And besides, our industry is growing. So I, I believe that a, a time will come when, if not what you should deserve as an actor, you know, at least a point is coming when you will get substantial, a, substantial amount. amount, you know, for what you're doing. So, hey, of course, you can't be ill. Yeah, you can't. I don't think that point will come. Do you love acting enough to sort of, I don't want to use work, work for free, but, you know, do jobs even if they're not paying you? Eh, hey, Mibuka, I have <laughs> done... <laughs> I've done quite a yeah, few. Yeah, probably when you were starting, but not now. Yeah. I mean. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, it, it all depends. You know, a lot of people feel, ah, this case, I've heard it so, uh, a few times when people say Joseph Benjamin is too money conscious. It's all about, all about the money. Hey, excuse me. Everyone wants to get paid, okay. you know. But um, for me, I always put, um, I put prospects before, you know. I, I, yes, I definitely would want to monetize my talent. Of course, they have to get paid. But it's not always the focal point. There's always prospects, first of all, you yeah. know, and hey, that's what I always look out for in the script, you know. Look at mileage, I look at, you know, and all of that stuff, you know. If he has all these components for me, it is great. So, hey, it's not... I, and uh, my, <laughs> some people are actually waiting to, <laughs> to, to hit us. Yes. <laughs> so the next the moment I walk out of here, Joseph, he said it on air. Hey, come, come on, on come on, work, you know. But hey, of course, <laughs> I'm willing to. I'm willing to support. I've supported a lot of people. I, I still do that, yeah. you know. So hey, I am willing to support your vision as long as hey, I, I connect with it. Yeah. Let's something. move away from all of this now. Back to some of your your love life. You've been linked a lot with a lot of. Nollywood stars <laughs> to be in relationships with them. Okay. Beverly Naya's name has come up at some point. Okay. Um, I can't remember. I, I, who are the sort of people you think? I think that's a bit too easy for you. But I mean, who, <laughs> who catches your eye in the industry? Okay. In other words, are you trying to say who, which of these women do I sort of have? Some secret crush on is that your you can start with secret crush and go from there. <laughs> Hi, Ibuka. <laughs> mm, well, uh, Ibuka, you're trying to put me on the spot. You know, <laughs> we have a lot of uh, amazing women in come the industry. On, don't come, be on. Politically hey, come on, you know, there's one. <laughs> 
Oh, oh man. man. Well, I've, there, there are quite a few who I like really. I who uh, who cut basically cut the eye. Uh, Genevieve, we're very good friends. Um, Brita Dominic. Um, um, let's see. Um, Mona Lisa and I are very good friends, you know. Very good friends. Yes, we both are very good friends. And, uh, you know, very good friends. I, let me not be misconstrued. Very good friends, you know. Um, yeah. Uh, Any of the Ghanaians? Jocelyn uh, Dumas. Jocelyn Dumas, who is basically, who's got every man in Nigeria. <laughs> Julie, in Africa. In Africa. They call her the Africa magic. Yeah, Jocelyn, yeah, Jocelyn Dumas, Yvonne Okoro. I can see you're a polygamist. You've named yeah. five people. Like, you said I should, I should look at, I should look at, but hey, come on. <laughs> Thank you very much, Joseph. Good luck in everything that you you're do going welcome. from here. I mean, you have a great career already. We can only get better from here. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. As yeah. we always say, you can join the conversation on Twitter at YNIGERTV. Is the handle, the hashtag is rubbing minds. You can also visit the website, YNIGER.com slash TV. Remember, you've never seen young people talk like this before. I'll see you next week.